Good morning, this is Keith All, and today we'll be uh, diving into how you could create a PDF from an HTML form using PHP. Uh, now the tools that I'll be using um, in this example is I'm testing this um, uh, by creating a local server on my PC and in order to do that I use the XAMPP control panel which also includes MySQL database and the Apache server. Um, you don't necessarily need to use this, you could use your own server that you could upload your PHP files to or your HTML files to but in either case you will need your uh, to download the FPDF class and you could do that at fpdf.org um, and then we'll be getting into some PHP syntax and functions and I'll be explaining uh, in more detail once we get to the code section on how to use the FPDF functions to create a PDF and some of them are add page, set font, the cell method, output function and the require statement is actually PHP um, statement. So let's now first go to the live example of filling in a form an HTML form and clicking on um, like a submit button so it executes our PHP file that creates the PDF. So let's go over there now. Okay here's our HTML file and I'm just again running this on my local server using XAMPP and I already uh, filled in these fields and basically once I click on this register button it's going to uh, execute the code in a PHP file and create our PDF for us and the PDF will be rendered in our browser in this example so as you can see it created a PDF for us that we could actually download or print or save and it grabbed the data from our form and filled it in here. So let's now go over to the actual code for both the HTML file and the PHP file to see how this is uh, being done. Okay, we're uh, in our, first of all, we're in our HTML file that is the actual form itself. And I'm just using Notepad++ to do some um, coding here. But basically, our, it, it, this is a basic HTML form, and it's using some um, uh, tags here that we could discuss. Now, we're creating a form, so we use the form tag. And the action uh, uh, that will occur once we click on this submit button down here which I uh, uh, put on the form it will execute this file that's uh, listed as part of the action attribute and the other attribute is called method and in this case we're using a post method as opposed to the uh, get method and um, if you want to know the difference between the get and post method, uh, you could Google it and you'll find out. But in this case, I'm using the post method of passing this information on the form to this file. So I'm just creating some labels here, basically first name, last name, gender, and all this. And uh, at the bottom here, I have uh, an input button of type submit and a value on that is just register um, and um, and the name of it is submit now you have to pay attention to these form uh, uh, labels and their names now these names here that I put here have to exactly match uh, the names that you're using in your PHP file 
and I'm going to switch over to that right now. As you can see, I'll explain first um, uh, about these names and then I'll go into more detail about this if statement here. But remember, uh, we're passing information to this form using the post method of the form. And what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing the information from these uh, these form names or these form fields and assigning them to a variable so I could use them later on in my code. But again, in this HTML form, let's for example, let's just go to the first field on the form. And uh, the, I named it first name. So this name, this name here has to exactly match this name I put here because it's looking for this exact match. Uh, of this form field and you have to do that otherwise if you don't uh, you'll get uh, errors while running this uh, again I'm not doing much error checking right here for right now for simplicity of just showing you how you could create a PDF using the FPDF class anyways let's go back up to the top for your PHP coding and first all I'm doing up here is I'm checking to make sure that if um, once I've submitted data to this PHP file I want to make sure that uh, it, it, the post data or the, po uh, the form fields are not empty basically and so if it's not empty then we're going to fall through to this code here again I'm using the dollar sign underscore post syntax of PHP to grab the information from our form and I'm assigning it to variables into our PHP code so we could use the values uh, in these variables later on this next statement is a require statement in PHP and basically all I'm doing is I'm passing it um, I'm bringing in certain information into this file that is required to use these FPDF uh, functions uh, and that's all I'm doing here is, is what this statement is um, we're navigating to this file here so we can bring in an information from this FPDF.php file so we could utilize the class functions later on in our code and um, if it doesn't for whatever reason find this file that you've stated here um, an error will be produced by PHP and this uh, script this the rest of this script will stop um, running so our first job here is to create an instance of the FPDF class to allocate memory for it and that's all I'm doing here don't worry about this uh, line of code here I was just testing uh, it to um, to basically spit out the functions for this class the first thing you need to do in creating a PDF, you must add a page. And basically, the add page function of the FPDF class will add a new page to your PDF document. Our next statement here is the set font function for the FPDF class. And basically, we're passing in some arguments there. And the first argument is what font family do you want to use? Uh, and your once you print out to the F uh, to the PDF uh, document, I'm just using Arial as a default. Our next argument is determining whether or not you want to uh, your strings or your text to be in bold, italics, or underlined. I'm just using bold. And the last argument here is the font size. Uh, which is determined in points. So our next call, or basically our multiple calls here, we're going to be using the cell uh, function. 
And uh, the arguments that I'm using are actually one through six in this case. And I'm not using uh, argument seven, which is relating to the fill or the background of your cell that you're trying to uh, print out. And it basically indicates if the cell background must be painted uh, uh, either true or false. And the default value is false. Excuse me. The last argument here is for link. Basically, if you want to, to add a link to your PDF document. So our first argument here that I'm passing to the cell function is the cell width. Basically, uh, let's go over to the um, uh, the output and I'll show you uh, uh, these examples here what these uh, uh, arguments will do. So here we are in the live example and basically when I'm talking about cell, um, the cell function, I'm basically talking about and what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm painting a border around each text field that I'm printing out onto the document and uh, basically uh, you have the option of increasing or decreasing the height and width of your area that you're painting to. So that's what I mean by the height and, and the width. So let's go back to our code and we'll um, discuss this further. Okay, so the first two arguments are the cell width and height. The next argument is whatever text you want printed out. These curly brackets plus this uh, dollar sign F underscore name again uh, I'm just grabbing this value here uh, it's being passed in by our HTML form and assigning the value that I grabbed from the form and basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna uh, print out the value of that uh, form field here um, and then these next two arguments are referring to um, uh, this number one indicates if borders will be drawn around the cell and that uh, the one stands for yes I want borders uh, the next argument is for the line and basically what this number one means is I want to uh, print it to a new line on my PDF document and that's what the one stands for and it, again what this the line argument means is indicates where the current position should go after you make a call to the cell function and again one equals uh, uh, to the beginning of the next line basically it's doing a carriage return after it prints this the last argument that I'm using is the um, uh, allows you to either uh, a lot allows you to align your text within your cell area and C stands for center so basically that's all I'm doing for the rest of the form fields that I'm grabbing uh, from our HTML form and it's going to print it out to the PDF document in order to print it out to the PDF document this last code will do that and we're going to be using the output function of the FPDF class and basically if I leave the, these arguments blank what it's going to do is it's just going to send the document to your uh, browser and there are if you fill in these arguments of the output uh, function you have the option either saving it to a file and doing other things with it but I just chose in this example to output our result to the browser. So this is how I'm able to create a PDF using PHP and also using a special class that was written by someone uh, to create the PDF document. I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you today. Uh, please like and share it because there are other developers out there that want to know how to do this in their day-to-day -day activities. So again, thanks for stopping by. I look forward to doing the next tutorial um, for you. And um, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.